to interrupt programming to bring you some breaking news as we continue to cover the protests going on across central North Carolina as people call for justice after the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. A former police officer has been charged with his murder. We know that more than a thousand people have gathered in Raleigh today. We want to get straight to Mackenzie Stasco, who is live in Raleigh. And Mackenzie, what is happening out there now? We're live here in downtown Raleigh at the intersection of McDowell and Davie. And what's happening right now is that this huge protest is dispersing into smaller protests. And here you can see beyond this crowd, we have Raleigh police in riot gear, fully dressed in riot gear with masks, body armor, and they have wooden batons as well. Uh, earlier, when this protest first started, there was a very minimal police presence, but we are now going on three hours at least of this protest here in downtown Raleigh. So as this protest has continued throughout the night, we have definitely seen an increase in police presence. As you can see, a lot of people here out here with signs. Uh, Maggie, as we mentioned, as we've been mentioning all day long, this is all in honor of George Floyd. And again, uh, this is a huge, huge protest that is going on three plus hours. We want to walk down this way and show you outside of the Wake County Detention Center. We know uh, earlier today, this has been fairly peaceful, but we did hear about a confrontation outside of the Wake County Justice Center at the intake area where you can see off in the distance, there's a crowd there to the left. This was packed uh, within the past 15 minutes, but the crowd moved down to that intersection we were just at. So if you take a look, we're going to walk across this area and show you uh, some of the things that have been happening. We have Wake County Sheriff's deputies also dressed in riot gear, and there was apparently some sort of gas thrown earlier today. We do want to show you some of the things on the ground that we did see and hear that protesters were throwing at the Wake County deputies in their riot gear. If you take a look, you can see there's a banana peel, there's water bottles scattered all throughout the area. And we want to show you over here, there's even rocks on the ground. So apparently uh, there have been some rocks and other things thrown in this direction. So this is just one area where these protesters have been walking throughout downtown Raleigh throughout the entire day. We do want to mention this protest started just before 5 o'clock at the Wake County Courthouse, hundreds of people, no official count or tally of how many people have turned up, but this has been just an enormous crowd throughout the day. Again, winding their way throughout downtown Raleigh. Uh, we do want to mention downtown Raleigh is uh, fairly shut down. We have been walking with this crowd throughout the entire protest, and Raleigh police do have all of the streets, uh, for the most part, blocked off. So again, this is just just one area of downtown Raleigh where this protest is happening, Maggie. So any other updates, we'll be sure to bring that to you. But we do want to mention we do have Wake County deputies and then Raleigh police down that way in riot gear. We haven't heard of any injuries, uh, but as soon as we do, we'll be sure to let you know there's a car coming through this area beeping. Not sure what that's about, but for now, Maggie, we'll send it back to you.